give you this. You ain't got to sit up and plan no sermon That's and then right. give it a heading. The green light today. The green light no time. <laughs> That's what you folks used to. But the preacher right. ain't got the sermon written out. He got a whole iPad <laughs> or a laptop up on the pulpit. That's and right. And his whole sermon is already written. Amen. God told his apostles, don't premeditate. Yeah. At the same hour, it'll be given to you what they say. That's you right. You mean to tell me, Pastor Jenny, you ain't never went to school to preach? No. Amen. Preaching is a divine gift. Amen. That come from God. And I don't need no organ to help me. <laughs> That's right. Are right, you listening to the old man? Which things also we speak. Which things also we speak. Not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. Not in the words that man wisdom speak. But which the Holy Ghost teaches. Which the Holy Ghost speak. Comparing. Uh oh. Comparing. Here, chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter two and verse thirteen. Comparing spiritual things. Spiritual things with spiritual. With spiritual. Glory to God. Amen. Let's compare. Comparing the teachings of today. Amen. Because that's the only way you're gonna know you're in the church that Jesus started. That's right. Never mind what you learn from your bishop, because this is what have contaminated the church. Hand-me-down teaching. Yeah. Do you know what hand-me-down teaching is? Bishop got it from his bishop, who got it from his bishop, mm -hmm. who got it from his bishop. And now all that hand-me-down theology mm -hmm. that folks was jumping about, screaming about, falling over. Do you know how much stuff that been taught in churches have never been in the Bible? That's right. That's right. Never been in the Bible. You spoke in some kind of tongue and did the boogaloo and <laughs> jump around and fall all out. That's right. And ain't never been in the Bible. Amen. Man wisdom. Man's wisdom teaches. Let's first expose what man wisdom teach. Mm -hmm. The philosophy. Yes. You better give me the book of Colossians. And Colossians chapter two and at verse eight. And then we're going to begin to relate some of the philosophy that been taught in churches for years. Oh, yes. And I'm pretty sure when I go through it, a lot of it, you're going to have to acknowledge that you heard it. That's right. Listen at this. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. All right. Beware. That's a warning right there. Beware. Let you know something wrong is about to happen or it did happen. Beware. Look out. Lest any man spoil you. Wait, lest who? Any man. That got your mother. That got, I mean, that got your father. That got your brother. That got your uncle. That got your grandmama. That's right. That got your husband. Any man. That got your bishop, your elder, your so-called apostle. Beware. Look out. Lest any man spoil you. How? Through philosophy. This is what messed the churches up. They're spoiled. Spoiled. They don't want to live holy no more. That's right. They want to be a Christian cigarette sucker. <laughs> That's right. Pipe sucker. Yep. Dice roller. Yeah. Card player. Amen. Pool player. Yeah. Christmas celebrator. Mm. That's, I want this to be good in case I got any uh, <laughs> Arkansas heathens here. <laughs> That's right. Beware. Beware! Beware lest any man spoil you. Ain't no Bible said Jesus was born December 25th, you're heathen. That's right. You are heathen. Amen. I don't care if your pastor celebrated, your bishop is a heathen. That's right. If you're a preacher, you are heathen. That's right. Beware. Look out. Beware lest any man spoil you. When you believe the Bible, the choir won't be getting up singing no Christmas carols. No. There won't be no Christmas plays. Nope. The choir won't get up in red and green robes. That's and right. Bishop come out with a red and green robe. That's to right. Blend in with the choir. There won't be no statues on the church ground of a dirty baby you claim is Mary. Beware. Beware. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. And yet you claim you in the church. In, a amen. You say you in the church. Beware. We doing a Holy Ghost investigation. That's right. That's right. Hmm? Beware. Look out. Beware lest any man spoil you. That's what happened. You got spoiled. Spoiled. Over the preacher put his hands over his ears. Amen. Hiccuping and breathing like he got bronchitis. <laughs> That's right. Beware. Huh? Amen. It spoiled you. Spoiled. In the church. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The Holy Ghost said. Beware. Look out. Lest any man spoil you. You Christmas heathen. Amen. Only a heathen takes their child heathen. to a mall and sit on the lap of a pervert. That's right. Only a heathen. You claim you love your children? Then tell them the truth. You know there ain't no man coming down your chimney in Little Rock. <laughs> In Little Rock. You know ain't no man coming down your chimney here in Little Rock. That's right. In this city? In this city. <laughs> and live to talk about it? Amen. Amen. Am I right, I said? Beware. 
Amen. Beware lest any man. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy. When you take a child and spoil it, and let the child have his or her way. Yeah. Then when that child go to grandma and grandpa house, oh, yeah. where there's an atmosphere of discipline, yeah. that child have problems in uh, adapting. Right. Yes, if young parents got a child and the child ain't got to wash his hand before going to the refrigerator, he's able to run across the couch with the shoes on, just step over people without saying, excuse me, no, yes, sir, no, yes, ma'am. That's right. And then get away with it, not being chastised. Yeah. Young folks send their child in the corner and say, time out. Time mm. out to do what? <laughs> Amen. But then when that child come to grandma and grandpa house. Oh, yes. Oh, it's that God that believe in the good old fashioned rod. That's right. The only time out that child have is rubbing his behind to soothe the pain. That's right. Discipline. Discipline. The churches today is like young, inexperienced children trying to raise children. That's right. No discipline. That's right. No instructions. instructions. No guidelines. Yeah. So everything is freelance. That's right. Family church. Families. That's right. Father is bishop. Yeah. Wife is treasure. Son is secretary. Yeah. The money stay in the family. Oh, yes. Like organized crime. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The only time the Lord deal with bishop is doing offering time. Amen. When the offering band passed around, a tongue starts. You can almost time it. That's right. Huh? That's right. You can almost time it. That's Moment right. of offering start, bishop come up. Amen. The Lord said he didn't have enough. The Lord ain't said nothing. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, preacher. Tell him, pastor. That's Why don't right. you lie and stop lying on God? That's right. Good teaching, brother. How the Lord going to say that's not enough? That's not enough. Every Sunday. And he didn't say the poor you have with you. Always. 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 That's right. A lot of these men get the pulpit to make a living because they're too lazy to go to work to get a job. Oh, yes. So they get in the pulpit to make a living off you and play with your soul. That's right. The worst position of the church is up here. Amen. You're going to give an account to God for everything that come out your mouth. Oh, yes. Anybody die believing one lie that you told, yeah. the blood yes. is going to be on your hands. That's right. You're going to rob the people now and drive your Cadillac and live good and eat your caviar, your old rotten fish eggs. That's right. And wash it down with your gin. Yeah. But you're going to stand before God. For all the souls you misuse, all the souls you abuse, all That's the right. souls you lie to, all the souls you trick. You can sit back and go to your side room and count the money and make it rain. Yes. But we'll take God, but you're going to stand before God. That's right. That's why I'm determined to do this right. That's right. Mm -mm, I cannot be bought by nothing. No. From nobody. Amen. I've been offered millions of dollars. Turned that stuff down to stay with God. That's right. Preachers have offered me their organizations and movements. I told them God made me a builder. I don't need your movement. Amen. And every time they offer it to me, it always a, a, a string is attached. Yeah. If I would change my doctrine. I say, this is not my doctrine. This is God's doctrine. That's right. You don't get me to compromise to walk with nobody. Amen. It's God's way or no way. Amen. When are you going to accept that fact? It is God's way or no way. That's and right. if you ain't will listen, when you do it God's way, God's it's going to contradict your organization. Oh, yes. Now, who are you more loyal to? Your organization or God? That's it. Because the script is going to challenge your organization. That's right. And going to challenge your loyalty. Either you're on God's side or UPC. That's right. Either you're on God's side or PAW. That's right. Either you're on God's side or church of God in Christ. Yeah. Bible said, choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. Some of you men are scared to stand up for the word of being reprimanded by your bishop. Stand up for God is worse. That's right. Going to jail for. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Beware lest any man Beware spoil you man spoil through, you. Philosophy through philosophy and vain deceit. What else? After the, to, after after the, the tradition. After the tradition of men. Of men. After the rudiments of the after world. After the rudiments of the world. And not after Christ. All right, let's look at men's tradition. Men's tradition. 
Five minor prophets. Mm. Five major. <laughs> five minor prophets and five major. As he spake by yeah. the mountain. Mm -hmm. That's the tradition of men. That's the tradition of men. The church started 33 AD. Ain't nobody ever said that. No. That's the tradition of men. Of men. 400 years of darkness fell upon the earth when the last prophet Malachi died. Ain't nobody ever said that. No. That's the tradition of men. Of men. Paul died at Nero's chopping block. The way Paul died ain't never been recorded. No. That's the tradition of men. That's right. John died, 96 AD, in a pot of boiling oil. He was a boiling liar. <laughs> Amen. There ain't no Bible said that. No. What is it? That's the tradition of men. Of men. You see, all of this stuff was taught for years. That's right. And what made the preacher so successful of handing down this teaching of philosophy? Yes was because the congregation was ignorant of the Bible. That's right. That's why I labor to teach and stay in the book. That's right. Not just to go along to get along. Amen. Are you in the church? The church. That Jesus started. That's right. You got to try the spirit. Yeah. And the apostle preached, we having the same spirit. Spirit, that's it. Of faith. <laughs> you know, when you got the same spirit of faith, that means you got to believe what Jesus believed. That's right. You got to believe what Jesus believed. That's right. If you come along and say, Pastor Jenna, we don't believe in washing feet. Really? Really? Hmm. You don't believe in washing feet? Really? Really? You don't? Really? Well, no, Pastor Jenna, Jesus ain't never said we got to do it. In he the, said you ought to do it. That's right. And then he told you why you should do it. In the book of St. John, chapter 13, in that what, verse what 13. What am I doing? I'm going to itemize different subjects. The see are you in the same church that's right that jesus started that's right listen at this now let's get feet washing saint john chapter 13 and at verse 13 parliament ye call me master and lord ye call me master and lord and ye say well for well, so i am so i am if i then your lord and master have washed if your I feet i be your lord and master and i wash your feet ye also ought to wash one another's feet no you ain't got to do it ye also ought to wash one another's nah, feet you ain't bishop said you ain't got to do it ye also ought to wash one another's bishop feet bishop lucifer said you don't have to do it ye also ought to wash one another's feet why for i have given you an example for what reason that ye should do as i have done to you ye ought to wash what ye ought to wash one another's feet not each other that's right one another's i got to pick up everything that's right Give chapter and verse again. St. John chapter 13, and we started at verse 13. Now wash each other's feet. One another's feet. One another. Let me show you the difference. Amen. Washing one another. I wash Williams. We wash that brother. That brother wash him. That brother wash him. That brother wash him. That's one another. One another. But if you wash each other, I wash Williams, and Williams turn around and wash me. That's right. That's Probably right. say that. You also ought to wash one another's feet. One another. One another. One not another. each other. That's right. That's right. Let's see, are you in the church? Mm -hmm. Let's see, are you in the church that Jesus started? Let's investigate how you take communion hmm. and what time of day you take it. That's right. Well, Pastor Jenner, we serve communion in, in the morning. That's not the Lord's church. No. He said the Lord's supper, not the Lord's breakfast. That's right. That's right. Do you mean to tell me, Pastor Jennings, the Bible tells me what time of day? In, yes. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11. I want to see are you in the church started from the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to strike this out strike with the Bible out. here. That's right. And everybody better investigate. And I'm challenging Little Rock, Arkansas. That's I'm right. challenging not just Little Rock, but the whole, the whole state. <laughs> That's right. The whole state of Arkansas. I'm challenging everybody's religion, everybody's church, and everybody's pastor. That's right. Huh? That's right. I mean, I have to do this because I was made a preacher, you know. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God made me a preacher. Oh, yes. And I have to say like Paul, if an angel come from heaven and bring another gospel that differ from what we preach, that the angels be a curse. If there's one church, then there's one teaching to govern that one church. That's and right. And any teaching come in the church that contradict the Bible, then we're going to blast that teaching back the hell that's right that's right Are you listen to the old man in first corinthians chapter 11 and that verse goes 23 for if i got any preachers out there that didn't come up amen oh yeah that goes for you that's and right what we preach it hurts you all right you better not protect what you have that's right you either in god's church there's two churches yeah gods and the devils and the devils all right let's see do you serve the lord's supper on bible order before we get the time of day 
Let's see, do we use a tray of glasses or one cup? One cup. Don't go tell me, don't. Well, Pastor Jennings is germs today. They was germs back then. That's right. Follow me in your Bible, heathen. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse Come 26. Come on, Bishop. Come on, so-called elder. Come on, pastor. Wait a minute. Before we get the cup, let's get what's in the cup because they use grape juice. That's right. They use grape juice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they, they won't use wine. They use grape juice. That's right. And I got, I, I'm going to strip it down to the letter. That's right. Let's get what's in the cup. Then let's get how many cups to use. Yes. Then we we'll get the time of day That's that right. it should be done. That's right. We're going to use Bible for all of it. All of it. All right. Follow me. Get me, Arkansas. First in the book of Psalms 75 and at verse 8. Follow me. Psalm 75 and at the 8th verse. What is it? For in the hand of the Lord, there is a cup. Please tell us what's in it. And the wine is red. Nope, the grape juice. The wine is red. Amen. Why are you serving grape juice? That's right. <laughs> Why are you serving tang, tang, lemonade? That's right. Orange juice. Orange juice. They pierce them in the side out, came blood and water, yeah. and the blood represent the wine. That's right. Don't you hear the Bible says in the book, a man of Isaiah, who is that? That coming from Edom with a dot garment from Bullseye. That's right. He that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak of the righteous, this mighty to save. Mighty to he save. said he tried, he tried the, the wine press alone. Alone. That's right. He tried the wine press alone. 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 Book of Isaiah, quickly now. Amen. Chapter 63, if I'm correct. Isaiah chapter 63 and verse, verse 1. Who is, this, who is this that coming who from Edom? It? That's coming from With Edom. With dyed garments God from Bozrah. Coming from Bozrah. This that is glorious in his apparel. He's doing what? Traveling in the greatness of his strength. What did he say? I that speak in I righteousness, speak in mighty, righteousness to save. mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel. And, thine apparel. and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat. And what? I have tried the wine I press have alone. Tried the wine press alone. And of the and people of there the was people, none with me. There was none with For me. For I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury. And what? And their blood, and shall, their be sprinkled, blood shall be sprinkled shall be sprinkled upon my garment. He ain't come along and use grape juice. No. Why do you use it? That's right. That's right. Get a bottle of Welch's grape juice. Amen. Leave the label on the bottle. Welch's. <laughs> That's right. Bible said a cup was in the Lord's For hand. For in the hand of the Lord. This is Bible here. In Psalm 75 and verse 8. Let's see are you the church started by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's We're going right. to do an investigation. That's right. And make sure you're not a criminal. Amen. Trying to bring something in the church that contradict the book of law. <laughs> That's right. Bible said let's all walk by the same rule. That's right. It didn't say walk by pathogenics. Walk, walk by the same rule. That's it. All right. Let's see whether we're going to have a cup or tray of glasses. We got what's supposed to be in there. Right. All right. Follow me and get there. Now in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, we'll start at verse 23. Right, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto no, you. No, I received it from Pastor Jennings. I have received of the Lord. So you can't blame me with it. That's right. Get mad now. Get mad with the Lord. <laughs> That's right. Give chapter and verse again. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. Are you in the church that Jesus started? Jesus started. And we're doing an investigation on the teachings in the church. That's right. Listen. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. What is it? For I have received of the Lord. I got from God. That which also I delivered unto you. Hey. That oh, 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 wait a minute. Mm -hmm. What's you preaching in your church? Did you receive it from God? From the Lord. Listen, viewers, and you that are here, it doesn't matter if a preacher come and say, if the Lord told me this and the Lord told me that, just be quiet and listen. That's right. What come out of his mouth? And whatever come out of his mouth that he said the Lord says, and it contradict the Bible, the Lord of heaven didn't say it. That's right. I don't care if he jump around on one foot and got a robe so long until it filled the temple. That's right. That's if right. he come anything that contradict the word of the Lord. Word of the Lord. The Lord ain't said that. Not no. at all. No, no. Listen. For I have received of the Lord. What? That which also I delivered unto you. What is it? That the Lord Jesus the same night. No, nope, the same morning. That the Lord Jesus the same night. The same afternoon. The same night. What did he do the same night? In which he was betrayed, took bread. He took bread. And when he had given thanks, and he broke it. And when he gave it. thanks, he broke it. And said, take, eat. Take, this is eat. my body. This is my body. Which is broken for you. What else did he do with? This do in remembrance of me. Yeah. After the same manner also, we took bread. The cup. What time of day was it? Same night. What time of day was it? That the Lord Jesus the same night. All right, you Sunday morning communion takers. That's right. That's right. You Sunday morning communion takers. Amen. You mean to tell me you are preacher leading people? 
Amen. Now you don't know the time of day that Jesus was betrayed. That the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. Say, well, that's not important. The Bible said whatsoever things are written for time is written for our learning. Our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scripture might have what? Hope. Don't let no liar come to you That's and right. say, well, if that, that time is not important. If, if it's in here, <laughs> have you ever took your car to a mechanic? Amen. And then when you get your car back, he give you a Ziploc bag with a bunch of screws. And then he tell you, you didn't need these. How you going to listen? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if those screws came with my car. Those screws going to leave on my car. That's right. I'm saying that to say this. When these men come along and tell you that we, we don't got to do that. And yet it's in here. It's in here. Come on back. That's right. Don't you know if you don't take the Lord's Supper right, you can die. You can die. Do you know some sicknesses people have is because they took the Lord's Supper wrong? That's right. I'm going to give you a Bible for that too. 1 Corinthians 11, still at verse 23. Listen. For I received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. That what? That the Lord Jesus the same, same night, night in which he was betrayed took bread. What did he do? And when he had given thanks, he break it and he said. break it. And said, take, eat, this is my body. This is my body. Which is broken for you. Wait a minute. He broke the bread? This is my body which is broken for All you. All right. If the preacher said the Lord's Supper and don't break the bread. That's right. You still ain't doing it right. That's right. Look at here. You got to have it at night. Have it at night. And you got to take the bread after you bless it. You got to break it. Break it. And if you don't break it and give it whole, you're not acknowledging the suffering of Jesus. That's right. That's right. You got to follow it to the letter. That's right. Or shut the church down. After the same manner also, we took the cup. He took the tray of glasses. He took the cup. <laughs> Amen. I want to say, well, Pastor Jenner, I take one bottle of wine and pour it in all the cups. That's the same thing. You lie. The That's purpose lie. of them having one cup, the cup, rep listen, you have wine and bread. That's right. Cup and bread represent two different stages of his one body. That's right. The bread represent the suffering of the body. That's why the bread was broken. Broken. The wine represent the death of his body because he didn't shed blood after, after. he died. That's right. A cup is a container. His body was a container. They pissed him in the side. Out came blood and water. And water. Amen. There wasn't a bunch of bodies died for you. No. One. That's right. That's right. One death. That's right. One death. One cup. Amen. Amen. So you take your trap glass and give it back to the bar you own. <laughs> All them shot liquor glasses. That's Come right. on back to the Bible. That's Just right. Do it right do and it stop right. playing church. Amen. After after the, the Bible say after this. After the same manner also we took he the cup, cup when he had supped. When he had supped. Saying this cup. This. Amen. Hey preacher. Preacher tell me. Hmm. When you pray over the cup or the tray of glasses. Is that the communion of the Lord? In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and I'm verse 21. I'm the same question the Apostle Paul asks. That's right. This, this question folks don't even know it's in the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, we're at verse 16. You preacher that got a tray of glasses, you praying over it. I'm asking you a question now. That's right. Is it the communion of the Lord? The cup of blessing. Good chapter and verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 16. The what? The cup of blessing. Spell cup. C-U-P. No, the C-U-P-S. No, Pastor, C-U-P. C-U-P-S. C-U-P. What is the question about the C-U-P? The cup of blessing which we bless. Which we pray over. Is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? Now you tell me. Amen. Is the cup which we bless the communion of the blood of Christ? Mm -hmm. Or is it the tray of glasses that you bless? <laughs> That's right. Are you in the church? Go ahead, brother. Started by the Lord Jesus Christ. The <laughs> cup of blessing which we bless. The cup of blessings that we pray over. Is it, is it not the communion, not the of, communion the blood of, of the Lord? Or is it the tray of glasses that you bless? That's tell right. me. That's right. That's right. Are you in the church? Amen. That Jesus started. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 21. Listen. Ye cannot drink the cup. Ye cannot drink the cup. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. And the cup of devils. <laughs> Amen. Which one is yours? That's it. You can't have the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partaken. The tray of glasses That's is right. the cup of devils. Of devils. That's right. All of you that serve glasses, you got the cup of devils. Of devils. Devils. That's right. Devils. That's right. Devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord. Oh, glory to God, the Bible so plain. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Stop this church playing and this religious faking and come back to Bible. Amen. Jesus is coming here. Yes, he is. 
That's right. Jesus is coming. coming. That's right. And the lying bishop been saying for years, he coming looking for a church. That's a lie. That's a lie. When you look for something, you lost it. <laughs> That's right. He ain't never said he coming looking for nothing. No. He said he gonna present to himself a glorious church. Yes. And then told you how it got to be not having a spot. spot. You got a tray of glasses. You got a whole lot of spots. That's right. You serve the Lord's Supper in the morning and not at night. That's another spot. That's right. You got anything in that glass other than wine? Another spot. Amen. Amen. Are you in the church? That's right. Start it from the Lord from Jesus the Lord. Christ. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's deal with the preaching that it was seven deacons ordained mm. in the book of Acts of the, the Apostles. In Acts chapter 6, we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. Get me. Hear me. Acts chapter 6 will start at the very first verse. Oh, we're working on the apostles' doctrine. That's what this is. Let's see, are you in the church? Amen. From the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. There's That's a lot right. of history in the churches, yeah. but not the doctrine of God. That's right. Come on. Acts chapter 6 will start at verse 1. Follow me. And in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied, yes. there rose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews uh -huh. because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Then what? Then the twelve called the multitude of the they disciples them unto them. the followers under them. And said, it is not reason that, that we should we leave should the word leave of God, God and, serve, and tables. serve tables. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out, among, out you among you seven men of honest report. No, seven deacons. Look ye out among you seven men of honest report. And this is what the apostolics and Pentecostals and many others have taught for years right. that it was seven deacons in the church and the church got to have seven deacons we first gonna see are these fellows was even deacons that's right are you in the church that's right that jesus started that's right the only way you know you in there your teaching got to be lined up yeah. it ain't gonna be like you take a driving test you hit a cone and jesus gonna say are oh, you all right no he ain't oh no you got to hit scripture. <laughs> That's it. And park that scripture. That's right. And back up that scripture. That's right. And when you get out, you got to get out in scripture. That's right. That's right. Eh? Wherefore, brethren. Wherefore, glory to God, brethren. Look ye out among you seven men seven of men. honest report. I wanted it to be good in case I got any deacons here. Mm -hmm. See how you were ordained, deek. Deek. Amen. See how you were ordained, deek. That's right. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report. Of what? Full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. Who did they get? But we, will give, but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Yes. And the saying pleased the whole multitude. Who did they get, son? And, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith I want you and to take of the note Holy of that. Ghost. Take note of Stephen. Some call Stephen. Stephen. All right. And Philip. Philip, I want you to take note of that. Philip. Uh -huh. and, and Prochorus. Be quick. And Nicanor and Timon and Parmenius. Yes. And Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. All right. Whom they set before the apostles. They brought him before the apostles. And when they had prayed, the apostles prayed they laid their laid hands, hands on, on them. them. And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples and and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. Yeah, the word of God increased. That let you know that the men they did some preaching. Now, that's right. They said that's where the seven deacons was chosen. Right. But have you noticed? The word deacon not even there. No, it's not. Now, I'm declaring to the world that they weren't deacons. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. I'm telling you straight up, they straight up. wasn't. Straight All up. All right. I want you to take note of one of the seven named Philip. Philip. Let's see what the Bible says Philip was. Acts chapter 21 and we're at verse 8. Follow me, follow Acts. me. I want to say to all deacons that are watching, whatever church organization you got ordained in, and yet the bishop ordained you based upon the book of Acts, he didn't know what he was doing. No, he didn't. No. Are you in the church? That's <laughs> it. Start it. From the Lord Jesus Christ. It got to be set up with Bible. That's set right. up with Bible. Set up with Bible. Set up with Bible. That's right. Even your ordination got to be like the Bible. Like the Bible. All right. Acts chapter 21 and we're at verse 8. Follow me. And the next day we that were of Paul's company departed and came unto Caesarea. And what? And we entered into the house of Philip. We entered into Philip's house. The evangelist. Wait a minute. Philip was what? Philip the evangelist. And who was he was? Which was one of the seven and abode with him. Amen. Amen. Philip was one of the seven deacons. And we entered into the house of Philip the Evangelist. No, Philip the Deek. Philip the Evangelist. Philip the Deek. Philip the Evangelist. You better not tell me he wasn't an evangelist deacon either. <laughs> That's right. That's right. 
It been in your Bible. I didn't put it there. Amen. Acts 21 and verse 8. Acts 21 and 8 says. And we entered into the house of Philip the Evangelist. Who was it? Which was one of the seven and abode with him. So they wasn't being ordained deacons. No. Oh, no. Oh, you're in the church. The church. That Jesus, hallelujah, started. That's right. He said, upon this rock, I will I build, build my church. My church. My and church. the gates of hell shall not Perfect. defeat it. That's right. When he said it won't prevail against it, he didn't say he won't fight it. No. He said it won't prevail, won't prevail meaning it won't defeat it. That's right. All right. That's right. Let's look at women preachers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Are you in the church? Amen. That Jesus started. That's right. Come on back to Bible. That's Let's right. look at women preachers. First, can a woman be a bishop? Mm. Give me the book of Timothy. Timothy. Follow me. Amen. All of you that got women bishops, and if there's any man got ordained by a woman, you're not a preacher. That's right. You're not a preacher. Your ordination is just as good as monopoly money. <laughs> That's right. You know it's no good. I say your ordination is just as good as monopoly money. That's right. The apostle Paul told Timothy, lay hands suddenly on no man. No man. You don't find a woman ordaining nobody in the Bible. No. Do it the way it's written. That's right. Someone said, well, the Bible ain't never told what, what men should ordain when they go out. I'm going to show you that in the first chapter of Titus. Oh, Titus. Give me Timothy first. Mm -hmm. Let's get the bishopric and then let's see who is ordained, first. male or female. That's right. I'm not a male chauvinist. <laughs> I'm a preacher. Amen. That goes forth. I got any young men out there that got the pulpit itch. Yes. And your wife want to be married to a preacher. She tell you, honey, you, you got the call. The only calling you got is the calling your wife giving you. That's right. 